Hello and welcome to this video detailing the latest update to Sage 200, 2022 R2. Before we start going through the new features though, I'd like to draw your attention to our homepage. There are lots of great resources available here for you that can go unnoticed when completing your day-to-day -day work. Things like easy access to information on making tax digital or keeping track of important legislation changes. You also have access to things like our product roadmap, training and help files. The resource I'd like to show you quickly today though is our Ideas Hub. This is where you can get involved and help shape the future of Sage 200. The majority of our new features are born from customer feedback and requests, so if you think of anything that could improve the program, no matter how big or small you think it is, create an account in Sage City and let us know. Right, onto the new features for this release, which, by the way, will be rolled out across all of our variants. So Sage 200 Professional, including partner cloud deployments, Standard and Education will receive all of these updates. The first new feature is one that we've had a lot of requests for in Sage City. It's the ability to dispatch sales orders from our web portal screens. Now, wherever you are, as long as you have access to a device with a web browser, you can dispatch any of your orders quickly and easily. Staying on the theme of sales orders, we've added another highly requested feature. You can now add tracking information to any of your sales orders to see the status of your shipment or proof of delivery in one click. To use this feature, you will need to switch it on. This is done within the program and will be slightly different depending on whether you're using Sage 200 Professional or Standard and Education. In Standard and Education, navigate to Settings, Invoicing and Sales Orders, Invoice and Order Settings, then open the Printing and Tracking tab. In here, you'll find the Record Tracking on Dispatch tick box, which will need to be selected. To find that field in Sage 200 Professional, Navigate to Sales Order Processing, SOP Utilities, System Setup, SOP Settings, Processing. Now that we've switched the feature on, we should add the courier information. In Standard and Education, navigate to Settings, Organizational and Financial, Maintain Couriers. Here you can add the name, the courier website, and the tracking URL. You can also select a courier to be used as default, if required. To find this feature in Sage 200 Professional, navigate to Accounting System Manager, Settings, Maintain Couriers. The next areas that we need to consider are Inco Terms and Reasons for Export. If these are applicable to your business, then you can use the information that is preloaded in the system, or you can add your own if you need to. To find these in Standard and Education, navigate to Settings, Invoicing and Sales Orders, and you'll see the options for Maintain Inco Terms and Maintain Reasons for Export. If we open these screens up, we can see the pre-populated information. To find these in Sage 200 Professional, navigate to Sales Order Processing, SOP Maintenance. Now when we dispatch a sales order, we'll see the Add Tracking Information screen. Just select the courier, enter the tracking number, and fill in the other applicable fields as required. Once the goods have been marked as dispatched, you can track the shipment by viewing the sales order. Just click on Dispatches, then click the link in the consignment number column. Businesses in Northern Ireland and the EU should be aware of the amended Intrastat thresholds. Those who exceed the dispatch threshold must include the additional partner VAT ID and country of origin information in their dispatch report. For our guide on how to deal with this, just click the legislation button on your Sage 200 home screen, select your location, then select new Intrastat requirements. During the video, you may have noticed some changes. We've recently refreshed our brand. We've done this to reflect the simplicity, flow and confidence that Sage can give our customers through greater control and better insights so they're ready to adapt and thrive in an ever-changing world. Our new brand is based on real insights about our customers, our colleagues and society. It's a symbol of what we stand for, the successes that have brought us here and a promise of the experiences we'll deliver in the future. It's safe to say we're excited about this and about what we can achieve together. That's it for this video, so thanks for watching. Remember to use Sage City and our roadmap to help Sage 200 evolve and to see what we have coming in future releases.